Hello everyone, McCain High School students and anyone else watching. Um, my name is AB, I'm going to be interviewing CJ Faison. A former NASCAR driver and now turned very successful YouTuber in my opinion, I would say so. Now, Appreciate that. <laughs> it's debatable. <laughs> debatable, but I'd say so. All right, I'm going Now, with it. before we start on you as, um, as a YouTuber, I would like to start on you as a person. Now, you were, uh, were you born in Delaware? I wasn't. I was actually born in North Carolina. Uh, we moved when I was two to uh, Seaford, Delaware. And I've lived there a good 80% of my life. Um, I lived in North Carolina for a couple years, like doing NASCAR, obviously, for four years there. And uh, moved back to Delaware right after that and haven't looked back since. Dover's where the Speedway is. Yeah. So um, you raced around there a few times? Yeah, I've, uh, I think I've raced there collectively five or six times. Because uh, some, you know, some years I would race there twice, whether it be the trucks and then Xfinity, uh, the K&N series. So uh, a lot of times, actually. Probably so more than six, now I think about it. How was it racing the trucks? It was good, it was fun, and uh, those have a lot more downforce than the cars. So I, I personally love the trucks there more than anything because you like haul off in the corner and have like so much false confidence, like you feel like you're in control, but you're really not. It just makes it feel a little bit more comfortable having all that downforce and spoiler on there and you drive it a little bit harder and get a little closer to a guy than you should be. So it's always fun. And like um, now today, like besides YouTubing, it is there anything like that you do, I guess, like as an entrepreneur, any businesses that you Yeah, run? so I've got several companies, uh, five total. Um, some of them are holding companies for properties, stuff like that. But uh, for the most part, I've got Motivated Apparel, uh, my whole YouTube channel, that's a business in itself. And then CJ Faison Incorporated, that's another company. Uh, CJ Faison Capital, I provide funding for different projects of either mine or someone else's properties, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, an auto auction, that's another one that's actually in Felton. That one's busy. We have an auction tomorrow, actually. And just, um, it's kind of growing. It's, it's like all these companies have three or four different things that they do. And uh, there's a lot of employees to keep track of some days. And some days I do a great job. And then some days I don't do a great job at all. <laughs> and there's one company that's got, uh, the auction company's got about, I don't know, 60 some employees now. So that's growing, and as long as everything is uh, looking good on a profit and loss statement, that's all that matters to me. I feel like from a business and publicity standpoint, it's, uh, it's pretty good for the state, I guess, to just have some sort of recognition from both a YouTuber and an entrepreneur. Yeah, it probably helps out a little bit. I mean, there, I don't know of any other YouTubers from Delaware. I might be incorrect on that statement, but um, I don't know, kind of cool. So, like, what exactly made you go from NASCAR to, to being a YouTuber? What made you decide that that's what you wanted to do? Um, I think it was, the, like, mainly the adrenaline rush. So, from coming out of a NASCAR at 180 or 200 miles an hour, and then coming home and, and not really doing anything except for business, I needed something to... I always filmed everything I ever did, pranks, um, stuff like that, but I never put it up on YouTube. So, there was a um, bridge, it's called Maggie's Bridge in Seaford, so the girlfriend I had at the time, uh, we decided one night we're going to go to Maggie's Bridge and see if anything scary happens. So sure enough, we go there. We heard a noise. I rolled the window down the truck, quickly rolled the window back up, took off, is what it is. <laughs> now when you watch my videos, it's a little different story. So I came back about a month later and filmed the bridge, and I put it up on YouTube. Got a couple thousand views, and after that, everything just skyrocketed. People wanted me to put more videos out of haunted places and abandoned. And to me, it's an adrenaline rush when I go into an abandoned place and do not, nobody in this room trespass like I do, you will get in trouble. I've been in a lot of trouble, actually. And you know, it's that adrenaline rush of almost getting caught or not supposed to be uh, you know, doing what you're doing. So I'm not too sure I'm a great example for high school, but it is what it is. And speaking of your old videos, I've, I've watched a couple, a couple of days ago. I've noticed like, a great difference in everything from the audio quality to um, how everything's presented, how things are done. Um, is there anything that you can say, anything that you can say helped you fig like, figure out your style? Uh, yeah, so the style I have now is definitely different, like you said, than from three or four years ago. So three or four years ago, I would go to a haunted location, start the intro there. I would be on Google right there saying, all right, well, what other stories can I find? Now I'm like well prepared and well versed. So when I open up a video, I've got history about it, uh, what crazy stuff's happened there, what they could expect. 
And I just kind of go off of that. The audio, uh, same thing for like what you all are using. Like we, we actually, I mean, that's what I do for a living technically. And we're learning stuff from what you all have set up here. So uh, collaborating with different YouTubers, that's helped out a bunch too, seeing what they use versus what I use. And then doing a lot of research on the internet. Like Chris, he's my full-time camera guy. And, and we'll see like a cool toy on the internet. And I'm like, yo, go decipher what this is. Like how could we use this audio package? And I mean, like we've got Sennheisers, we've got the shotgun mics, we've got all kinds of stuff. And that's up to him to bring me all of that info for us to use it. What camera or cameras do you guys usually use? We're, uh, if it's like nighttime quality, we're using the, um, the Canon XA 50s now. Is that the 50s? Yeah, the XA 50s. And those actually have infrared. So we can go completely lights out, sneak in somewhere a little bit easier, uh, get great footage at nighttime without having to have a light give our position away. And here recently, we've been doing a lot of stuff where we get permission to go film. So if we have great lighting, then we're going to be using like our Sony A7. And um, yeah, it just depends. So, I, and my vlog camera is a Canon G5X. It's super, it's handheld. I can put it in my pocket while I'm flying or whatever. So we have about, I think we're up to about 12 cameras now, which is a little bit to take care of as you all probably know, but it's like a different camera for every setting. And I think that's probably where you've seen like the quality difference. One, like one question that I had is, um, what's come of the, of the farm that you guys had? In the beginning, what, what is it? The name is Honeycut Honey? Farm. Yeah. yeah. So we're uh, going to be completely demolished at some point and turned into a housing development. So I'm happy to happy to say that. I think that's best. Yeah. Considering its history. Yeah. It it like, needs to be completely wiped out of all existence. Like where is it? Like at what general area? I really don't say on the internet because I yeah. know there's going to be a lot of people, people who like trespass. Trying to, yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> Because there's a, there's a lot of people who have requested to go there, and I've let some people go there, and they've had a great time. Uh, for some reason, they want to call it great because they got great footage, but it's scary. So it's a little terrifying. Yeah, <laughs> they stay far away. Have you been to a lot of places like up here, up north in Delaware? I wish I could say yeah, and it, it doesn't make much sense because it's all in my backyard, like Fort Delaware. I've never been there for yeah. whatever reason. I was going to um, ask you about that. Usually I'm quick to go over to BWI, jump on a plane out of Baltimore and fly somewhere out west or in the Midwest, down to Florida, wherever. So I don't, I don't really know why we don't film much in Delaware now that I think about it. I've seen some of like, um, your stuff from Ohio. Yeah. And even up stuff. in Nevada. Yeah. Those places are a little terrifying because they're very like like historical and Nevada is yes. a very like isolated place. Yeah, Nevada is like, to me, going out there to like Vegas and the surrounding areas, it's a little sketchy because there's a lot of places that we film out there, there's no cell phone service. So if something does occur or happen that we need help or an ambulance or anything, nah, we're kind of screwed. <laughs> so there, there's some genuine risk like yeah. besides paranormal. Yeah, I've, I've fallen through the flo uh, first floor of a building down into the basement. Uh, that was fun. I had no idea the floor was that weak. It looked pretty strong, but uh, yeah, I was, I was walking on plywood and I guess it was rotted out. I took one step and went straight through. I, I didn't break anything, twisted my ankle when I landed, but it was really lucky somehow. I don't, looking back, that was a little sketchy. Have you ever had any encounters with like homeless people? Or yeah, um, I actually had a, uh, a tire iron. I don't know if y'all know what that looks like, but a tire iron thrown down a, an abandoned hotel hallway at me. And I wasn't even Christ. filming at this point. I was just trying to set up my uh, tripod and camera in the hallway to start my intro off. And sure enough, I saw something being hurled down the hallway at me. And yeah, it was a homeless person trying to, you know, shoo me out of there. So it happens more than you think. Incidents so like this are, you know, they're very real. So that kind of goes into another question for those people that may be doubting yep. or saying that your stuff could possibly be fake. Yeah. Because a lot of like the genre, that genre of of YouTube sort of died out over time because people thought that a lot of videos were fake or they were over exaggerated and in some exactly. cases they were but from what I've noticed from your channel a lot of what you film a lot of you don't cut much of what you film mm -mm. straight through a lot if there's of, a lot of cuts you can tell it's fake yes <laughs> like that's sometimes that's kind of the uh, dead giveaway for mm -hmm. when I watch people's video I'm like mm, that's a little sketchy they can be like over exaggerated or they have like this like background music and stuff exactly it's, yeah there's a reason why boring. they put all that stuff in there and yeah because in reality they don't have much yeah so when i first started i would put cuts in there just to like take my watch time and, and uh 
take the watch to the less watch time, but more like view duration. And that really hurt me because people would question it. And I'm like, okay, well now I'm gonna film everything and you're just gonna have to sit through it if you want and watch it from that. That's why I, some That's videos why long. like hours long. Yeah, but you you get what you, what you saw. Yep. Like when you, when you film, those people that are watching those videos, they see exactly what you saw. Exactly. There's no cuts. Right there with me. It's like almost entirely uncut. Yeah. Now, does that make editing a bit easier? It, it does a little bit, and then it doesn't too, because, uh, I mean, we were at Crescent uh, Sanatorium uh, last week, and when we were filming there, I mean, there's probably six hours worth of footage, and that we're just going to narrow down, because you know, sometimes I get six hours, sometimes I get two hours of footage, and then we have to determine what makes the final cut, and it's a little different. But I like going somewhere where I can spend two hours in and then roll out. That's, that's more fun to me. I'm assuming you find a lot of those places a, a bit nearby. Yeah, Pennsylvania and Ohio have a lot. I mean, I could probably make two years worth of content for all the places they have there. Pennsylvania is a pretty freaky place, especially like in like the northern area or like yeah. where the mountains are. Yep. Yeah, it can be weird stuff up there. Very weird, especially like when you're driving there at night. Yeah, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be up there. <laughs> what's like, what's the scariest place that you've been in or explored within Delaware? I don't like the Redden State Forest for some reason. I've always had bad luck there. Whether people show up, shoot at you, I don't know if we were on their property or not, that's debatable. Uh, but to me, that's the scariest place in Delaware would be Redden State Forest. Because there's sort of, I believe there's sort of like a mixture between private and state property. Yeah, and then you have all like the ghost aspect of it. So um, I've never really got to do like a full, long, I've wanted to spend the night in the Redden State Forest, but I've never gotten able to because I've usually been kicked out by then. So they see lights. I feel like Fort Delaware would be great for you guys. I need um, to put that on my list. Because historically, it's, it has a pretty tragic backstory. A lot of, it was used as, during the Civil War, it was used as a prison for, like, for Confederate soldiers. Gotcha. They would be put there. So a lot of them passed there, I guess, due to like disease. Yeah, we're going to have to check that out. Chris, we're putting it on the list. <laughs> you know, telling me those experiences, is there anything that you filmed but you couldn't exactly post because of some... Not, not really, no. Um, trespassing has been one of the biggest things like in the early pre, uh, I call it the early YouTube era, like that was an issue. Um, we would trespass a lot because we didn't know how to get in contact with property owners at one point. So that was probably the only reason, there's three videos out there I know for a fact that I've never been able to post just because it was, we were caught and stuff like that. And, and now we do it the right way. It makes it a heck of a lot easier and a little bit more peace of mind. What are the scary places that you've been out of state, like out of Delaware? Uh, I would say the scariest place I've been out of state was the Bel Air House in Bel Air, Ohio. Um, I, I still, I don't think the full story has been told. I, I'm actually friends with the person who owns that house, Kristen. I don't think that she fully wants to tell everything that has happened in that house because I think it's, it's really sensitive to her and her family, which I completely understand. But you know, the story that we got is, you know, there's like a demonic portal in the basement and all of this. And, and it, it's, you walk in that house and you instantly feel off. Like every time I've ever gone there, which has been three times now, you just feel like you have a stomach ache, you want to get sick. Um, but then, you know, I, I realize I have a job to do of filming a YouTube video. So you, you kind of got to push through and you probably will notice like in those videos, my energy's off just a little bit because I, I just don't feel good being in there. I just don't feel welcome. I saw a bit of those videos. They're a bit more recent, aren't they? Yeah. The Ohio ones. A couple months ago, yeah. Is there like any places that you would return to like that you personally like found scary, but also a bit amusing? Uh, Indiana State Sanatorium, uh, that place has uh, like a really messed up history about it. I like that one the most just simply because there's so much property to go explore. There's a lot to see and do. But on the flip side, there's a lot of scary stuff that happened. So um, that's probably the only place I would like to return to. Yeah. yeah, sanatoriums and asylums, they're always the most scariest places to me because of the histories that they have behind them. You know, the treatment was was not the best. Mm -hmm. A lot of abuse happens. Because <laughs> you, you've been to Penhurst, right? Yeah, that's a, that's a really messed up place. I almost feel like there's so many people that come in and out of that place that it's not as scary as it once was now. Now, I know you said that you haven't been to many places up north in Delaware, but have you ever explored Devil's Road? No, Do you, I you not. know of it? No, I've never even heard of it, no. It's a bit close to the Pennsylvania border from what I remember it's pretty narrow from what I've heard um, its history there has been satanic sacrifices there has been um, sounds like a place I gotta visit <laughs> <laughs> so back on the topic of um, racing 
an ass car, would you ever return to that? No. no. I have zero desire. I kind of sound crazy, but I really enjoy what I'm doing now with YouTube and business. I first probably don't have enough time to do it. And then second of all, just that whole aspect has changed and, and it's not as fun as it once was. I've got friends that are still in it and they're like, man, it's not like, you know, it was in 2012. And I know I sound like an old timer being like, yeah, back in my day, but like even just 10 years ago, it was completely different. What has changed? I think it's just more like you're relying more on corporate sponsors in order to continue racing. Uh. and. The sponsors are seeing there's not as much uh, of a draw to the sport. The numbers are down, so why do we want to keep allocating more dollars to that? So it costs more for them to sponsor, yet they're getting less out of it as far as... It's been like entirely commercialized. Yeah. I, I understand that, especially for people that specifically want a career in NASCAR because it's something that they've been interested in rather than, yeah. you know, for money or for sponsorships. Right. And it's hard to come by. It really is. Everything's changed. The whole sport, the whole narrative. Uh, you can't say this. You can't say that. I was terrible for that because I, I cuss like every six words. I'm doing a really, really fine job, I feel like, right now. And, um, yeah, you, you would get fined if you cussed on national television or, you know, spoke your mind about something. And, you know, I, I was all the time advocating for changes in, you know, our horsepower versus aerodynamic packages and all that. And, and they don't want to hear that. So... It seems you're a lot happier now doing what you're doing now. Yeah, 100% happier than I've ever been, yeah. And your businesses, I know you mentioned um, um, thy, I forgot what it's called. Motivated Apparel. Yes. Yeah. So that apparel includes, um, what exactly? Is it, can, is it like multiple types of like clothing? Yeah, so we're actually just getting into like more of like the uh, active wear, like gym material, stuff like that, that people can wear out to the gym and work out in, like fitness clothes. But for right now, it's t-shirts, hats, hoodies, stuff like that. And it was kind of weird how all that came together. So the company's name used to be Motivated Eyewear, and I was sponsored by them in NASCAR. And then the deal kind of fell through. They only really held up half of their bargain uh, to the sponsorship. And I got mad and frustrated, and I was like, you know what, forget this. So I went and created my own eyewear company called Real Eyewear and directly targeted all of their customers. Whatever happened to their business is their business. They sold out that company to a company in California. And then that company reached out to me, uh, I guess it was in the later half, like 2017, and said, hey, do you want to buy motivated, you know, motivated eyewear? And I was like, well, how big of an irony story is this? So I was like, <laughs> absolutely, how much? So we, we, there was like months of just back and forth negotiation. Finally got it narrowed down to a price. I gave the green light and they uh, shrink wrapped a bunch of pallets and sent me the product they had left and I changed it from eyewear to apparel because eyewear you, you're dealing with like um, you know the food and drug administration even though it's not food and drug it's like that's something that's protecting your eyes and it costs more and more each year to do that and maintain that and truthfully I don't ever really wear sunglasses so it didn't really make sense for me to own a sunglass company more of apparel so yeah, I don't own anything other than my own stuff like nothing really oh yeah and the next up is going to be shoes for us. So that's uh, next up on the agenda. That's a, that's a big, that's a big industry, yeah. shoes. Huge. Everyone needs them and they can be sold for yeah, when you're, a bit when, more. When you're, you know, buying shoes or, you know, creating shoes for $9 and selling them for 190 I like those profit margins. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> when you buy things in bulk too, or you buy them straight from the manufacturer. Yeah, we have manufacturers across the seas that manufacture everything for us from start to finish. I'll come up with a concept in my head and I still design every piece of clothing. Uh, I'm in touch with all the manufacturers. I like, I like being hands on because there's less mistakes that get made. And, and then I can't be mad at anybody at that point. So the designs you make yourself? Mm -hmm. Every one of them. Do they just pop into your head or is it something that you develop a little bit over um, time? Over time I'll see like, uh, I try not to get, I'll try not to look at people's shirts, but then again I do. I'm like, all right, what's everybody else wearing versus what I want to wear? And truthfully, I like plain and simple, not crazy designs. And I think that's kind of helped develop Motivated because it's always just been clean and simple stuff and, and nothing too out of the ordinary. I mean, a couple of times I'll throw in some colors, but mainly it's like black and white shirts and, and that's it. Because every time I wear a white shirt, I get it dirty. So I'm like, who else would want to wear white shirts? Not me. <laughs> yeah, I've always felt the same about that. Are there any, are there any big announcements coming up? Yeah, so technically you all will be the first to hear this, but we're... Uh, we're like this close to being done with an app. When I say this close, I'm talking like two or three more months. So we've created an app and the app is gonna be based around 
my fans being able to come and be a part of my videos, whether it's the vlog channel, my main channel. Uh, not only that, but we're going to do 365 giveaways a year. It's going to cost me a ton of money to do it, but I want to be able to, to, each one of you, be able to log into the app each morning and say, did I win something or not? And then I have you coming back to the app every day constantly, which is going to help the ratings of the app, obviously. Fair enough. And then when I'm giving stuff away, I mean, I'm not going to give, I'm, I'm not giving away small stuff big stuff because I just want to make an impact on people and then be able to win something be like damn I got something like really really cool so and will that be the primary purpose of the app pretty much yeah um, that and to notify people when videos drop maybe I have an appearance somewhere that's public that they can come to that'll be cool and then also be able to sell the motivated merchandise kind of slide that in on the bottom and, and give them offers so like every week is going to be a different offer so maybe you didn't activate on last week's offer of 15% off I do a flash sale for you know 70% off and see how that goes. So I'm all the time, it's always gonna be something every day on there. Just to keep people notified on your channel and your businesses. Yeah, I've learned this, if you're out of sight, you're out of mind. Oh yeah. And that's kind of how that rolls. Publicity is key a lot of the times. Definitely, yeah. Whether it's generated by something else, whether it's accidental or on purpose, or yeah. it's something that you do yourself. Yeah, you gotta stay, attention is everything in today's like social media age, I guess you would call it. Because if you don't have the attention, you don't get the retention at all. There's just, it's nothing. So I try to post, I post a lot, I feel like. It's probably too much, honestly, but I'm all the time, like Twitter is my main platform. I love Twitter more than Instagram. And uh, I don't know, I probably tweet three or four or five times a day, sometimes <laughs> 10, I don't know. <laughs> it's just my thing, I like it. For Anyone that wants to start up, whether as a YouTuber doing sort of similar things that you're doing or something a bit different, what advice would you have for them? Uh, a lot of research. So understand that everyone who logs, I mean, I'm, I'm a YouTube fan bigger than anybody I know. It's my whole life. I have no cable television, no nothing. And understanding how like our generation is going to come up, we're not watching TV that much. I mean, uh, creating something that people will enjoy how to keep their retention, what you think is ultimately good, funny, scary, or whatever it is, is probably not as funny, good, and scary as what's really gonna work. So be hard on yourself to the point to where every time you put a video out, maybe you have a group of friends that watch the video. So we have, um, every, before every video goes out, we have a team meeting, and sometimes it's three of us, sometimes it's 10 of us, but we have uh, a feedback. Get feedback from people because, again, what I think is going to be funny in a vlog on my second channel is probably not as funny to somebody else because they weren't there in the moment. They didn't see the lead up, but they got the punchline of it. Scary, same thing. What I think is scary because I'm there with the lights off probably wasn't that scary. Like, I hear a noise in, in you know, 30 feet off. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm terrified, but you might not be watching the video. So, again, it's like... How do you get that point across to your, your audience? And if you don't have an audience, the single greatest thing you can ever possibly do until you get to, I still try to do this, answer like every single comment or at least leave a heart on it, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, because now you feel like you're connected with me. Yeah, because and, and they I appreciate acknowledge it. you. Absolutely. Like you acknowledge each other. And that's, it's a little difficult, but that's what it takes. So. I would say this, if, you're, if you want to start anything in social media, I know TikTok's huge for uh, you know, a lot of younger people, I, I would do that. I would reply to every single comment that ever came on a TikTok. I mean, if it's a million view TikTok or a hundred view TikTok, I would be answering back if somebody does. That was amazing. Yeah. Was amazing talking to you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yes. Now that the boring part's over, we can go on to, in my opinion, <laughs> it's a bit funner, CJ. We're going to be going and we're going to be ghost hunting within the school, starting in the Audion right now. Check it out. Thirty-five when you get started, I'm gonna cut the lights and we're just gonna get this table here where cool. you can kind of introduce people to where awesome. you're at. All right? That works. So if you guys can head over here, those that don't have a camera <clears throat> Chris uh, Pop a squat, oh, man. You're gonna be the one asking questions. We'll ask some questions with this. Okay first Do we have any help see it okay well, I also think I needed to adjust this down too hang on this one was this way 
What's that? Necrophonic, Necrophonic from the other night. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll put that on pause for now, and then once we turn all these lights off, we'll be good to go. Yeah. Also, we need headphones. Yeah, someone's driving that, I believe. Can you guys see through the camera okay? Yeah. 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 Now, creating this dark, because I'm just, I've always heard spirits are more active in the dark. I could be wrong. But no, you're right. We agree with that. <clears throat> yeah. Daytime really doesn't do the uh, greatest unless it's like pitch black like this, so it's actually. It's pretty good. Do you, do, you, do you have those headphones by chance? Did somebody go grab some? Yeah, somebody was supposed to go grab them. Colton, did you grab the headphones? Come on down, Colton. Watch and set it up. I don't know where to call our voice. Colton, I'm going to put a light on your phone. Colton, make it a ball. Follow the light. Oh, thank you, Colton. It's not blessed. Are you mic'd up too? Yes. Oh yeah, let's get you Sweet. recording. Which one's already? Ah, oh, left. You're good. Just You're waiting fine. for the turn back on. The mic process, I totally understand. He right. likes we are recording. Hands. Awesome. All right, CJ is just getting the box turned on. So um, that box that he's adjusting uses a technology called ITC, um, some type of transcommunication. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and try to explain it because I don't fully understand it, but it's supposed to be the most powerful and most accurate way to communicate with spirits. And we've had some hey, really good working. sessions. He talks really loud when he has the headphones on. So, All right, hang on. You want to take them off? Yeah. There you go. All right, so uh, basically what we're going to do here is this. Like this is kind of, this is actually our last resort method of trying to communicate with anything whatsoever. And again, so you all understand, I never believed in any of this ghost hunting stuff until I first witnessed it in 2018. Um, I was scared of my own shadow until that point. So basically we're gonna do a method called the Estes method. Now there's a couple different ways that we can do this. I can either separate myself completely in a room, probably what we're gonna do. So maybe if like you pick like two people out as well and, and you all gather some questions real quick, I'll get this tuned in Okay. and then have a camera with you. Yeah, we'll stop off to the side. And he's gonna ask questions. So this way there's no way possible I know what he's saying. Yeah. And basically this box is really, really hard to, I'm gonna just let y'all hear this really quick. One, two, three. So, this is basically going to scan frequencies. If there's anything trying to say anything, it'll come through. Really nothing right now. But I keep the headphones on because, as you can hear, it's real faint in the back, if anything. So we put these headphones on. We turn the volume all the way up. So number one, it drowns out the noise around me. I can't hear the questions he's asking. And I just communicate strictly what comes through this. We might waste five or ten minutes here doing this, and it might be nothing or it might be yeah. something. So um, I always open this up. However many people are in the room, if you don't mind, like when we all just get one, two, three, just say my name is such and such, and it does not have to be in order, but just that way it kind of opens up yeah. communication. Introduce that way. yourself and so on three, we're all just gonna say, hey, my name is such and such. All right, three, two, one. Hey, my, my name, name is CJ. Chris. So that's basically just opening us up. So yeah. if you want, you can go wherever you want. It yeah. Doesn't really matter. Um, if you want, to, like two or three people want to come off to the side with me, maybe we'll come behind the stage, or where do you think like, a good area would be? Okay, I'm gonna just set this down quick. You're going to let us know when you're ready? Let us know when you're ready? What? Give me like a thumbs up when you're ready or All something? Right, yeah. All right, so we'll just come over to the side here and um, this little corner, just so he can't really hear us. We'll try to talk kind of quietly. Um, but do you guys know any names or do you have any like idea of who might be here like with the hauntings or anything? Or it's totally, it's all guess? There's no idea? Okay. Okay. Hey, um, Chris. Yeah. Where'd Chris go? Oh, he's around the corner. All right, I'll be ready in... 10 seconds. Okay. So I'm just so going to start spitting off the whatever this The thing says. I usually do is I say, hello, my name is Chris. Um, I just like to ask who I'm speaking with. Sorry about that. Um, ask who I'm speaking with. And if you all have any questions that you want to ask, just like, you know, how did you die? This, that kind of stuff. Just to get even just like a nice one word answer would be nice. And we, again, we might get nothing. So yeah. Did you go to school here? Did you, how old were you? It's just simple stuff, you know, try to get him to answer. And again, he might not say anything. So yeah, and we can talk just at this level. Cause again, you don't want him to hear what we're saying. Um, so I think he's ready, so. All right, so uh, 
My name is Chris. Um, we're all here to, today just to figure out who's in this uh, auditorium. So could you just tell us your name or say, say something, let us know that you're here with us right now, make a noise. Try to keep an eye on him and see if he uh, gets anything. Yeah, go ahead, yeah, you can say something. Uh, my name's Greg. Uh, I'm just curious if there are any spirits in the room uh, at the present moment. Yeah. yeah sometimes it's not very exciting. He might, not, he might not get anything. I don't know, it's hard to tell. He's not saying anything, so. Hey, my name is Cameron. I was wondering if you graduated from here or did you not even graduate? Stay or stage, it almost sounded like stay. Do you, do you want us to stay? Do you, do you like that we're here right now, or do you want us to leave? A lot of times we kind of like push and poke, like, hey, like make a noise if you want us to leave, or scare us out of here, which isn't always the best way to go about it, but it makes it a little more exciting, I don't know. Yeah. Hey, this is Greg again. Are you glad that you- Look left. I say look left. <laughs> yeah, he's looking left. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled too. Sometimes you might see things. It could be a shadow move. It could be just something that's hard to explain. It's interesting, so. Moving. 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 All right. Can I see if something's moving over there? I don't. I don't think. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you can go over there. <laughs> Where are you? Are you over? Are you over on the left side of CJ right now? And do you want us to go over there? My name is Nate. If you're on the left side, go to the rocking chair. Alan. In it. I don't know. Out. <laughs> do you want us to get out? Looking. Looking. Are we looking at you right now? We're looking. Can you just tell us a name? Can you let us know who you are? My name is Lockyer. Are we looking at you? Do you know what year it is? And can you tell us what year you died? I don't know if I'm still supposed to be looking left or not, but. Leave. Oh, okay. Out. Leave out. So it sounds like it doesn't want us here, more than likely. You're gonna have to scare us out of here if you Four. want us to leave. Just make a noise or do something. We're not leaving until you, you scare us out of here. This camera, why do you want us to leave? Good question. What are your intentions? Can you show yourself? Yeah, that would be amazing. That would be awesome. Hmm. What's wrong with us being here? Won't answer. Tripped. <laughs> Up. Oh, what happened? Did the light just go out? Nurse. <laughs> oh, okay. That's weird. Did you just turn this light off on the camera? It's still on. It's still on. It just shut off. It's still this? on. It's still got power. Oh, wow. I, I got chills. Oh that's my creepy. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. <laughs> we'll just let him, no hope. Yeah. Let's we'll let him oh keep going. God. Of a way out. I got a video of this. That's I got a video of this. Sorry, I'm trying not to cuss right now, but this is weird. Oh, my God. It's still on, and the light went off. Dude. Look up. All right, so we're filming at the school right now, and the camera light just went out. CJ's doing a spirit box session on the other side. This is getting a little bit Two. crazy. Oh, my God. Can you turn the light back on for us? Turn the light you back can? on, please. Can't touch. Can't touch. Can't. can't touch. Behind you. <laughs> See? <laughs> Behind the <laughs> <laughs> Again, you guys gotta remember, he, he cannot hear us. The headphones are on, it's very loud. So. Or move the rocking chair. Can you move the rocking chair? You turn it hey, okay? Chris. Yo, do you won't believe this? <laughs> what? The camera light Dude, shut off. We it's, all watched it's on it. And the camera light went off. It just Behind shut off. Me? Behind no, you. No, right here. Yeah, behind us. Behind the curtain. Right literally here, the look. light went out. It stopped working and the light's still on. It's got power. Look up top. I saw power, the light turned off. It just shut off randomly as you were trying we to We asked it to show us something and it turned it off. Yeah. That is Where is it? wicked. <laughs> yeah. We don't have more on here at this place. Yeah, but then you asked it to turn it back. <laughs> we asked it to turn it back on and it said can't touch. Yep, really? You said can't. Yeah. I said can you turn it back on and you go can't touch. Touch. That's. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I, I wonder yeah. what the heck. Someone, yeah, someone, someone hold my camera. I wonder I if you. I touch it, since it can't touch it, what happens? 
Alright, where's the wheel? The wheel is right here. Ready? That's weird. I got nothing now. Power is completely dead. What in the world? Well, something drained it then. It's completely drained. That's uh -oh, there's something going on. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have a mind behind you. Man. <laughs> I don't know. That's, That's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Hey, you're the pro. <laughs> what in the world? Man. It's using the energy from our equipment to be able to talk to that. Table. Exactly. Right, yeah. I can off. see I'll that. Yeah, I actually like, know that. That's nuts. That is crazy. What do you guys feel? Did you guys feel anything? I literally. I got cold yes. right away. Same, as same. That That's what you feel. You I feel like a little breeze or something. And yeah. this thing went off. That's wild. That's and common. And the light was still on until I got that power. I'm like, what? That's what you're going to feel. That's when something's there. I, 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 I was standing here and I felt like cold. Were you really? Yeah. Yeah. So when it said behind, I'm like trying to look at you. I thought it was behind you. Yeah, like the curtain. I'm looking behind Technically behind the curtain. I'm looking behind me. I'm like, what? Because the light went out. I'm like, I don't know if it's behind us or If this thing turned off. This would have went off too. Exactly. Yeah, so Not just off. the light. Correct. This was completely on, and then once I touched it, everything died. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> how, how about this? That's crazy. All right. So, I'm, all right. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll you phone for this it, is really. this is what we should do. All right. Let's do this another method here. This is going to be a little bit creepier. Ask it to make a noise in the room, mm -hmm. and everybody say super or like super super quiet. I'll put the headphones on. But then ask basically where the noise is going to come from and let's see if it's accurate or not. Yeah. See, okay. Really annoying. And, and, and this might not work, but this is kind of strange to me. I don't know. This is weird. <laughs> Very weird. So we come back over this corner again. I turned off like that. that. That's strange. I would be too. I am. <laughs> yeah. I got yeah. Really weird, right? <laughs> I've got this yeah. feeling of like. Yeah, that's the thing. A lot of people. Being watched. Yeah. People, You're right. Like someone's here. A lot of people don't believe it. The they think it's something like weird, but when something like that happens, how do you describe that, you know? What do you say? You're right as soon as it turned back on. You're right. I'm right. His right, maybe? More time. More time? More time. We got nothing but time. Hey, we. Who, who was right? <laughs> so, yeah. Turn off the, the other board. side. The other side. <laughs> By Eliason? Is there an Eliason here? What's your middle names? Uh, I don't know. Any Elijah's? <laughs> Hmm. Elias, then. Is that your name? Was there someone earlier that said this? Is that your yeah, name, Elias? I Somebody asked you. Hey, we asked for a name. We the did ask row? for that. So. Um, Is there anybody in the second row? Is there anybody in the second row? or? Did you hear that? What? There was a bang back here, but I mean, I don't know. <laughs> that was loud. Put these on real quick. Right. I want you to try this out, all right? All right? And I'm, I'm going to ask some questions over yeah, here. Yeah, let's EJ do this. We're going to stir this thing yeah, up. Yeah, let's go. Out? All right, I want something to go over there and touch him right now. Go over there and touch him. Make a noise for us. Oh, he's talking to the guys in the spirits. Right here. Where are you? Let us know. Yeah, make I want a you noise. to scare all of us out of here. Sure as that. Perfect. Show us where you are. Throw something off of the table. Make something All move. On. Safe. Where are we safe at, though? I'm safe. I'm Grant. Is that a name? Say Grant. Grant. Say Grant. Alex. Well, we 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 got an Elias. Yeah, and Grant. Kind of Grant. What is, it, Alan? is somebody named Grant here? Anybody? It might be. Who's yeah. Talking? That's CJ. You can come over here and you can touch him, poke him, prod him, whatever you gotta do. I'd rather you not. He's got the bald head. <laughs> I was just talking. Now he's got the bald head. But it's too many people talking. Order there. Where are you at in the room right now? Tell us where. Male. Male. All right. How Mayo. old are you? What happened to you here? Why are you here? Gotcha. What? Uh oh. What was that you noise that? back there? Yeah, I was about to say something. Forward moving. Yeah, we are moving forward. Very small. Look for something really small then. You're white. I am white. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> right, well. Right. Oh, really? I, thought, I didn't know I was white. Oh, the guy we talking about CJ. Stop it. I also said small. I said stop. Starve it. Start it. 
Find yeah. it and burn it. Whoa. What are we looking for? <laughs> Where are you? Let us know. Yeah. Yo, there was a fire here, remember? What's that? There was a fire here. Fire. It said stop oh, it and burn oh it. Oh my god. Burn it. There was a fire. But, it, but did you hear me shout something? Yes. It's because it came across as a shout. Okay, so you're being loud, yeah. So I wanted to shout it so you guys knew. I have no idea what I shouted. I'm just repeating what I hear. All right. <laughs> That's crazy. You said stop it and burn it. Yeah, stop it and burn it. It's Saturday. Oh, Saturday. make that water bottle move right there. Knock it off. It'd be interesting if you guys think about it. Look up when that fire was, like what day of the week. I don't know. When did the fire happen? Was it Saturday, yes or no? July. Whoa. Okay. To school. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Swearing. What? Y'all sure there wasn't something more that's happened? That's what was that on? noise? Okay. Yeah. The two? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell us, tell us where you're at in the room. I know you haven't told us this. Tell us where you were at. Georgia. I think he's from Georgia. Georgia. Like Georgia. Oh, yeah. Nice hey, weather. <laughs> it could be. It's possible. I People from back then. <laughs> Did you go to school here? A bunch of Did that light up. just die? My light just turned off. Like, uh, yeah, I saw that. that is that? weird. That's a brand new light. My light Same thing. It's still off. on though. It's still on. Some with you. This is, it's it all, it's it's someone with him. You know what? That, <laughs> you know what it's doing is it's going to every it's going to every camera trying to turn a light off. Well, it's the same. So let's go same lights camera, off for though. just a second. You okay. have that infrared camera? Yeah, yeah. That's Who's running this, infrared? Let me, let me just, yeah, we're gonna go lights out. Yo. Can we kill those lamps in the back too, or no? That's still yeah. on. Yeah. Can we turn them off? Yeah, yeah, yeah I got that. that. We're gonna total lights out. Yo, hold up. Please tell me y'all just saw that. It was on, and then it goes. Yeah, that's what caught my attention when it went off. Weird, right? Like, why is that happening? Second no, time. That happened who once, and now happened again. That yeah. Who was holding Bro, the camera? I've never seen over here earlier with you guys. I feel like a little, like my hair's go up. And you feel that. It's, yeah. that's oh, how you know yeah. someone's yeah. around you. I'm a huge fan of horror movies, but bro, that's, that's being part of Real life's a little different, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a little different. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little different. Okay, uh, here, do, can you put those back on? You want me to hold the camera, or? Chris, you want to hold that? Whoa! Turn it off! No, Brandon. Brandon. Something just touched mine on his shoulder. He said he got hit. Something like, 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 where are you at? Something like that on my shoulder, bro. What in the world? Don't go. Don't go? Oh! Oh, no. What the hell? Well. You go in. That's bizarre. Do you want lights back on? Yeah, yeah, let's turn some lights back on. Uh, Do you want me to hold the camera? Yeah, yeah I forgot. I got the broken light. It said orange. Hold on, I'm gonna get a new light. How do I take this? Hold on, how do I take this off? You hear anything? Are you asking a question? Yeah, yeah, I'll ask you. Make a noise. Yeah. Why are you here? What's the purpose of you being here? Help. You need help. Who do you need help from? Well, that light just turned on uh, by the edge of the side. See, that's what I'm saying. These lights keep going on. Right? right? On the right? Right? That's where it was on the right side. That's stage right over here. Yeah. So that's stage right? right? Yeah, that's stage left. right. It's still left. That's stage left. Right? Can you move one of these two water bottles here? Bowden, I'm yeah. gonna go over there. That's weird. Yo, did that light turn off? Uh, yeah, it did. Yeah. Cool. Look at that. That one just blinked. Yeah, what's blinking out there at the top right now? I just saw it. Get away. Okay. okay. You don't gotta tell same, me twice. Same, same. Get away. Nah. Keep going. Oh, it just got cold right here, guys. It did? All right, let's go. He's up by Bowden. Is that because... No, there's no air coming out of that. 
It's not that. Make a noise. I don't know. If you are near me, make a noise. Go where? Four? Should I walk in there? It's locked. The door is locked. Behind. Behind. Alright, I'm gonna think of something random, right? And then I'm gonna type it. Behind you. Behind me? Well, oh, this light just went off. Are you messing with the lights? Absolutely. These are wait, 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 yo, yo, hold up, look. Yo, this wait, light's still on, the, the, but not this. Behind you. You want me to put a new light on? Bro, this is brand new. Hold up, wait. The light, bro, I just wait, saw wait, it. The light wait. was working. All right, so this is what I had. It's on, but it's not turning back on now. Yo. Hold up, hold up. It's a brand new light. I turned it off, and now and I turned it back on. Now it's not coming back on. Here's a brand new light. Hold that. If you Juice. Juice. Two. Juice. juice? I have juice. juice. Wisely. Do you need juice? No, I think it's in choose. Choose who? Who are you choosing? What was that? Yo, what's the order here? Her. 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 What's the? What's her? Are you? Are you pointing at her? Purple. Who? What's wrong? What? What? Kayla. Kayla. What? What? Hide! Oh, no. Hide where? Why should we Who hide? Right Why should we hide? No way! No. Why should what we do you want? Who are we hiding from? No. You're going? Going, going to what? Where? To going start? Start what? Start with, with? With what? With what? Your whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, I thought it was. Oh, never mind. One of these two lights just went off. One of the lights went off. This one. I freaking. Her light went out too. Oh, it was. Yo, that one. Awaken. Okay, you can. Awaken what? The building. Oh, hold up. Oh, wait. The building. Is. Oh, we. Is what? We ain't doing something we shouldn't be doing. People. People. Yeah, so people here. Saturday. House. How many people are here? Saturday earlier. How many people are here? What is? What's important about Saturday? Are you? Are you what? Are you or are you? People! Yes, there's people here. Yes, we are people. What can we do to help you? Make a noise. You. You, you what? Who's you? You in this building. Yes, there's... Yes, I, 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 I am in this building. I am in this building. No, no. I'm talking about the stuff that just moved. Fire. Fire. I Who? pointed to you. It what? like water. Who? Did you heard. see that? Is there like yeah. water over there? No, there's no water. You and this building. Listen. Okay, we're listening. Yo, oh, shh. Shit. Quiet. Quiet. Dude, we gotta roll that back later. Yeah. It literally, I Do saw you? that. Do you what? And then all of a sudden, it looked like yes, water started you. moving yes. towards you. That's this is creepy. But I told you, like, how y'all have going on? I don't know, but I told you ahead of time. I think this room here, though, something's up with it. What's that? Uh, orange flames. <clears throat> no, he, he's but orange. But you're orange. You're, that's more Nathan, orange. That's yeah. more orange. Do me a favor. Let me get Naeem and you walk towards uh, the door back there. Seriously. Yeah. Location. I'll go. I'll go. This is weird as hell. Where are you? You good? You good? <laughs> okay. Gray. Gray? Gray. Who's wearing gray? <gasps> um, there's oh, a gray. She's wearing gray. They're both, they're both wearing gray. Hey, make her light go off. 
Do it. If you're here, make her make this every light bit go of up. energy. Make her light go up. Her. Her. her? <clears throat> yep, her. Anyone? Yes, her. Then. Now. Now. Do it. Pray. Now. Which one? Pray. Which one? Uh, it could be. Easy. I think it's her. I'm oh, sorry. Well, her light went off earlier. Really. Lights off. Lights, Lights off. off. Yes, Lights off. off. Lights off. Whoa, no, no, keep no, no, light. No, no, keep light off. Keep <laughs> off. Yeah, I got it. I got it. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Yes, we are. Yes, we're turning it off. Oh, shut up. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not gonna shut up. You better not touch that light. Bro. We're turning it off. <laughs> it's a girl. Day. 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 What? Day. 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 Hate. Who do you hate? You. Me. Why? What did, How did I turn this into? Who is you? I don't even know. Uh, we, really, name? Nathan? What just, what just Denise. Sure. Everything. Denise. Emerson. My mom's name is Denise. Release. Denise. Release? Denise. I don't know. Denise. The Washington. The Washington. Whoa. Who? And. Did you like to turn on? Everybody's I dead. Turned on. I turned that on. Oh, okay. Everybody's dead. Oh my. Like, what I was hearing, it just said it. It just said they are, and then it says you all die. Yes. I have, I have a question. I, I'm just. You are, it said everyone said that you all die. Yeah. That's what it said. So, dead and you die. on this side of the school over here. Yep. Was there anything bad that happened on that end of the campus by chance? Like any, like any not that I know of. Yes. Yes. Okay. There's a couple times that I, I, I can't. Being honest with you, yes. There's, so I heard twice on there, like when I first started it up, it said get in, and then after it said get in, I, I and again I wasn't gonna say this because I was like, all right, this is a little weird, and then it said something about water and something with um, take off. Oh my god. So take off water, get in. Take off water. Like get in, take off water. Take off water? Yeah, like take off water. I don't know if it was talking about the water bottles on the table, because I had the water bottles on the table, but... What's it saying? That was like instant. Take as soon off, as I turned knock, it on... Knock this water bottle. So I didn't know if y'all were asking questions yet or not. Did you tell him? I swear to God. It's something about water bottles? Control? Oh, it's not. <laughs> water bottles. Yeah, 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 yeah. He just said control. CJ. So you th Should I tell him? You keep you honest, just yeah. tell him. Go ahead, man. All right. So, um... So hey, before you say anything, Put that on me. <clears throat> before you say anything, I can't. This is like this. Yeah, take that. Get him a light. I'm not like yeah. psychic or anything like that. Yeah. I would never, ever, ever claim to be. Right. But what was weird is, like something was just like go to this part of the stage, and I'm gonna have Watch a feeling step, of a direction, and the direction is left. So and that's. This is a really sensitive thing, and the reason why I didn't tell you before you started what right. happened here. Um, about 20 years ago. And we have a mural on the wall to verify this. I'm not on this. Mm, yeah. One of our students drowned here in the pool. In the pool. You have a pool? Is yeah, we have a pool. Over they can here. Hear me and they're a little close and then hello. Stop. I'm not making this Dead up. serious. No, 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 Dead serious. There's, there's a mural. I've seen the mural. So much so, I was worried. My students could tell. I was worried about telling you this or doing something with it over fear of like my job. I didn't want my principal to be like, you're exploiting yeah. somebody who died. No, no. But at the same time, what you do, I was like, I said to the principal, I'm like, I'm not telling them. We'll just see what happens. I heard I'm coming and just watch. Yeah. Check watch. Check someone check. You there no, watch? Just watch. Um, just watch. watch. Oh, he's watch coming. This. That's watch this. Crazy. Nathan, Nathan, put the headphones on. Put the headphones on. Put down the headphones. All right, so watch this. I don't want to say it out loud so he doesn't hear. Country. What country are you from? Are you from the United States? Yeah, this light is not working. Yeah, this light Are you from the United States? I've accomplished danger. Danger. Danger where? No, hold on. Just stick, stick with my question. Mm. Was your family Why? from the United States? I don't think the kid was from the United States. Really? Yeah. Coming back? Coming back. Is it what? Yeah, the mural has this country on it. Outside. What made me? You know, What's the country? Too. There's our orange. I'm so... <laughs> I wonder if it happened on a Saturday. And the orange folder right there to the right. Yeah. I know, 14, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Do we have 14? I don't think so, no. How's it going? Good. <laughs> the kid that made it was 96, okay. So this is a little bit more than 20 years ago. 
based on what he just said, he's the one that does this all the time. If he's freaked out and thinks Where he has enough, you? I'm not pushing it. <laughs> I think what you all have going on right here is like, is this the actual, is this the center of the school or where would be? The yeah, we're in the center. center. We're in the yeah. center. Oh, so classrooms go center. that direction. So it kept saying center. center. It kept saying center. Classrooms go that direction. Pool, gym, and stuff is that direction. In the gym, there's been lots of reports of the locker room, noises and stuff moving. And the pool is literally, Are you standing the pool's with here it's in, it's where he died. died 10 years you ago. go into the locker rooms. Something died 10 years ago. Yeah, it's bad. Uh, a little longer than that. Then go out there. Anybody died here 10 years ago? Um, it's possible. I think I say we go to the pool. That'd be fun. Bizarre. So uh, I was brought in here for what I thought was just a simple question and answer and an interview and to to meet the class. And then I don't know where things went off course, but uh, we brought the spirit box just to show you all as an example to see. All right, does anything happen in here at all? Did we catch anything? Uh, maybe mainly just show you all how our stuff works and. I'm glad some of you got to put the headphones on and experience it. And all of a sudden, as soon as I put the headphones on, I started getting some something come through. And again, I was expecting to show you all how it works. Probably nothing come through. You all being like, oh yeah, this is a joke. <laughs> it was not a joke. The joke was all, in all basically on all of us at this point because I feel like everybody here, like especially when the lights were turned down or turned off, people's lights were being turned off. And then we're getting answers that are correlating with questions that are being asked across the room to where the people with the headphones couldn't hear. So overall, I was not expecting this <laughs> at all. <laughs> Extremely bizarre. Ooh, that was, that was really cool. That's weird. So, so you glad you said yes? Yeah, I just, excuse <laughs> my French, how the f is this place so haunted? They got a lot of activity, like it's weird. I felt stuff on my shourder. I gotta do William Penn. He said purple. Yeah, I was gonna say, you guys gotta do William Penn. Yeah, I was gonna say, you guys gotta do William Penn. Yeah, I was gonna say, you guys gotta do William Penn. Yeah, I was gonna say, you gu